Good morning, everyone. Hopefully you can hear me now. Happy Thursday, May 2nd. Morning, P PRP, Ken, Yoga Delic. I'm, I'm assuming you guys can hear me. I was having a little issue with my Bluetooth when I first logged on. Okay. Dow up almost 200. NASDAQ up 144. S&P up 34. Man, what a crazy uh, FOMC yesterday. Price went all the way up. Uh, it's went up about, I don't know, what was it? 60 points or so, 70. And then the last... 35 minutes or so, it fell all the way back to where it started. Glad I sat out yesterday afternoon. Hopefully today we get some more action on Mighty 90 Runners. VIX, 15.08. So, um, since today will be a TLC day, I challenge everybody that uh, wasn't following the rules to a T to, to do so, and uh, especially make sure you add a second iron condor after consolidation. If your first one gets off center. So just go smaller. If you have to, to do that. I mean, you look at it this way. You know, if somebody was doing, you know, if somebody's, if you, if you go a little smaller and put two on, that's like having one bigger one on. And I would rather have two on with one being centered rather than uh, only having one on and it being off center. Bell is rung. Meta is the only thing on my board that is red. Baidu up almost still under See, do we have any earnings today? Let's take a look. Oh, yeah, Apple. After market closes, Square, Moderna, that's before market opens. It's up 5%. Peloton uh, up 11% was before the market opened. DKNG after market closes. I'll be interested to see what that one does for earnings. Coinbase after market. Site Sciences. My buddy's company is Site Sciences. Most people probably haven't heard of that. Booking 
after market closes. So quite a few. <clears throat>
There we go. Roku, getting close. But uh, don't think it's going to get there. Can we get some normal price movement from the S&P today? When I say normal, some push-downs, push-back-ups, push-downs, push-ups that aren't huge. That's what I'm hoping. Roku, Roku's price actually flipped green, so I won't, I won't be taking that. It's still going up. See if we can get a mighty 90 here. Yeah, Disney, maybe. Again, very, very tight range. But it is pushing down to lows of day, so keep an eye on it. Today's the one DTEs. Wow. Disney's bid ask are super wide. Huh. Wonder why. On a $111 stock, they're over 20 cents wide. Actually, more than that. See if it could settle down a little bit. I'll give Disney till close to the end of this bar just to make sure that this bar, second bar, doesn't get as big as the first or this third bar. What else we got going on here? Nothing here. From there, stair stepping down in volume, not, not what I want to see. Disney's tightening up a little bit. One one twelve puts. Still twelve cents apart from the mid.
it to yeah I'm, I'm gonna pass on disney it's just too wide for me that is a good looking mighty 90 though but between the mid i mean the bid ask is 30 cents 40 cents 40 cents yeah, I'm just going to pass on it. Good look at it in terms of volume, though, and price movement. Amazon with a little mighty 90 short. Let's see, Amazon. We trade the. Uh, um, 185 puts. See if Amazon can pop up here a little bit. Get back up right at highs of day. On Amazon to push up just a little bit to get filled on that. Also, a very tight range. Kind of, it's kind of what we've been dealing with lately. It's been somewhat frustrating. You know, we trade the 185 puts in Amazon. See if I can get filled at three bucks. Netflix. Central Mighty 90, but it's flipped already. Push back up there, Amazon. Build at three oh five in Amazon. Just in a tick, just to get in. Hopefully it'll push back up. Video coming back down. We'll close half my Amazon at, it's already there. Build at three fifty to close half of Amazon. Yeah, it was having trouble pushing up. So I adjusted it at a nickel. I probably would have went to three ten. 
probably would have gotten in at 310 if I didn't get in at 305. Might still push up for you. Uh, S&P really fallen. Get out of another Amazon here. Go to 380. Close a quarter of Amazon. Nice job, Yoga Delic. <clears throat> you got in at three bucks, huh, Yoga Delic? Nice job. AMD had a volume bar, big volume bar to the downside. Monitor AMD. I would want AMD to come up closer to 145 before I got in on that. <laughs> Four more Amazon contracts left. Hopefully close it here after it gives us a second red bar. <clears throat> Roblox had a mighty 90. It's too small for me to trade, but it's a good example of a mighty 90 long there. Get out of another Amazon at 420. Actually, I'm going to try to get out of another one now. It's gone. 30 cents, which was another 10%. Try to get out of four, uh, another one at 410. Things are really looking like they want to get bloody. Build at 410. Close another quarter of Amazon. VIX popping right back up. Ooh, Amazon flipped. That's interesting. Huh. I'm going to go ahead and close my Amazon. I didn't get a second consecutive red bar, but 
it was red and then just flipped. I've only got three contracts left. Built at 355 to close. Basically just wanted to take the profits I had. So it's up to you if you want to still wait. I mean, you could still wait for two bars, but um, two consecutive reds. But um, the fact I only had three left, it just wasn't a value for me to wait. Because if it goes against me, those three contracts could wipe the profits that I currently have. So that's, you know, instead of following the rules, that's probably part of that 5% time where it's discretionary, you know, to close on a mighty 90 before it gives you the two bars. You know, just didn't see the value of holding with only three contracts left. Tesla, no, nah, not enough separation there. Roku, better looking mighty 90 there. Let's see if it pushes down here. Man, Roku's been, remember when it was up close to 100. Let's see, Roku, I would trade the. 58 calls. Yeah. Yeah, it's got a mighty 90 here. It was close to a downside volume runner here. But what's interesting about that is that the price was green. I think I'm going to pass on Roku. It's just, it's, such a tight range, two tenths of a point. Just not interested in that tight of a range. It's not moving at all. Amazon pushing back up, so. Yeah, Boeing, upside volume runner, and it's already bounced. Let me put Boeing in here somewhere. Let's see. Let's get rid of Netflix. It's not really moving. Yeah, I missed Boeing. Looks like it had. <clears throat> looks like it had a um, little pullback there, right at the start of this bar, and then it flipped. S&P trying to bounce a little bit. Boeing getting another big bar. So let's see if it pulls back any for us. Look at Amazon. Good out in Amazon. Like I said, that's, that's kind of the, you know, 95% of the time I'm waiting for two consecutive bars. That one was red. Well, I saw it flip back like that. I was kind of like, mm, let's just take my profits. <clears throat> Tesla continuing to fall. AMD did fall. Did not bounce that much. Yeah, Boeing's pulling back, but here's I'm just going to give it a towards the end of this bar. It's it could pull back and actually there's still enough time for it to be a red bar. It's got one minute left, so let's see. Yeah, this has happened to me before where you know it's it's pulling back and then all of a sudden the last thirty seconds it falls and turns red. has happened to me before but if it holds right there yeah see now it's pushing back up so i was kind of wanting it to just to hold right there and then i'd look to get in 
We'll see how it finishes here. And with the one DT iron condors, not doing very well with this VIX going up. Tesla close to getting a volume, big volume bar to the downside. Boeing, just a monster, monster bar here. If it pulls back to this pivot, I'll consider getting in. So far, it looks like it wants to hold on. I don't know. s and is getting ready to go through lows of day. Yikes. Mm. Things getting a little bloody. That did, didn't it? Oh. Well, Vic Spike. Yeah, I'm just going to hold on to things right now. It's things are falling fast. Yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna stay out of everything for the moment. See if we're gonna really fall. My my one DT is not doing well. So Boeing is kind of holding on right there. Let's see, I would trade the 172.5 calls. at 210. One seventy two point five calls. So
I would get out of half of my Boeing at 230. Tesla getting a big volume bar to the downside, but it's about ready to flip green. Filled at two thirty. Filled at two thirty in Boeing. So let's see if Boeing can rip up now that it kind of survived that push down. Tesla's bar got green, so I'm just going to stay away from that. But let's see if Boeing can push up. Close another Boeing at 250. Come on, push up there. You can do it. It's getting close. Vic's still going up. Still a lot of green on the board, though. But the S&P is close to going red. Yeah, NVIDIA's yellow, my 90 green. I'm, or green, my 90 long, which would be... But... Uh, I'm going to stay away from it because it's gotten so big in this environment and it can move so quick on you. S&P going through lows of day. Big spiking up. My one DTE is in some taking some serious heat. Just getting destroyed. Wow.
Stopped out. My one DTE just got destroyed. Big loss. Just crushed. Should have probably waited just to see what the market would do the day after FOMC, honestly. Boeing coming back down. Boeing's holding on, though, you know? Kind of crazy. I'm sure now that my one DTE got stopped out that it uh, will, will certainly bounce now. Dix will get crushed. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <clears throat> figures filled at 260 to close another Boeing so Boeing Held through all of that. So what was that? That was a, a 46 point move down when the expected move was thirty well, it was thirty-eight, but yeah, it, it blew past the expected move real quick today, within thirty minutes. Now it's going to fire back up, I'm sure. After it took me for about three grand. Yeah, I wondered about a Rick today. Ouch, minus 3,600. Not a way you like to spend your first your first trade of the day. First uh, iron condo, anyway. That doesn't happen very often with those one DTEs. I'll close another Boeing at 280.
A little push up. Build at two eighty. Yeah, you can hang on to it for sure. There's another one here. Build at 320. So good upside volume runner. You got four four Boeings left. That Roku Mighty 90 would have been nice too, even though it was tight range. <clears throat> uh the the one DTE is uh back tested. Um, if you go to Steve's trade plan, it's the seven dollar, it's seven dollar strikes, uh, sixty wide. It's back tested. My TLC is is more just it's all discretionary based on price movement. So there's a little more <clears throat> research behind the with the optional mega back test on the one DTE. No, I just can I just used I just used um Steve's uh one DTE iron condor is that he had that he used that he's back tested. So Boeing pushing up, it's getting another big bar. So I think I'm probably just going to continue to scale out. <clears throat> I got four contracts left, so I definitely don't want to sit through a pullback. I'll close another one at 350. I did not see the big down move coming out of S&P to start, though, with it being up so big. Pre-market. So don't think I'm going to do any more new trades here, so I'm going to jump off and uh, start focusing on TLC. And basically what I'm going to do with my Boeing is I'm gonna just going to continue to scale out every 30 cents, which is 10%. If I see a couple red bars coming in, I probably just close it. So I will see everybody during power hour. Have a good one. Peace.